Genetic studies have shown a deep history of gene flow between polar bears and brown bears, specifically with polar bear genes flowing into some populations of brown bears. Genome sequencing revealed that all North American brown bears derive between 3% and 8% of their genome from polar bear ancestry. This is possible because most bears have a similar karyotype with 74 chromosomes. The exceptions are pandas, who have 42 chromosomes, and spectacled bears, who have 52. The similar karyotype is one reason why all bears, except pandas and spectacled bears, can interbreed and produce fertile offspring. But not all bears are the same species. Some of these apex predators diverged millions of years ago, but polar bears and grizzly bears diverged much more recently. Roughly 400,000 years ago, when geographical isolation led them down different evolutionary paths, grizzly bears prefer rivers and streams in woodlands, forests, and mountains. They have long claws and powerful shoulder muscles that they use to dig up roots, rip logs apart, and move rocks. Polar bears evolved to survive in the frigid Arctic. A polar bear's ears and tail are smaller than the brown bear's, limiting heat loss. Their heads are longer and more slender than grizzly bears, so they can fit into the breathing holes that seals cut into the ice. Even a polar bear's teeth are hyper-specialized for seal hunting. In 2006, a hunter shot a bear on Banks Island in the Northwest Territories. This animal immediately caught the attention of wildlife officials. It had the typical white fur of polar bears, but also had the long claws, powerful shoulders, and broad face of a grizzly bear. DNA tests revealed it was a hybrid with a polar bear mother and a grizzly father. Since then, there have been several suspected sightings and eight confirmed cases of similar hybrids. Four of the eight confirmed hybrids were F1, or first-generation hybrids. The other four were back-crossed hybrids of a single F1 female and grizzly males. Researchers were able to trace all eight hybrid individuals to a single female polar bear who mated with two grizzly bears. Unfortunately, the mixed physiology, coloration, teeth, and behavior of polar grizzly hybrids make it so they're not really suited to thrive in either the Arctic or Alpine river systems, and genetic evidence indicates that these hybrids don't persist over the long term.